Hey, this is Daryl as a service. This is still Movember. We're at the halfway point, 15 days into Movember, and um, what do you reckon? Coming along? Um, I know that there's no halfway point for mental health in IT, and that's that's the topic that I um, am uh, doing Movember for um, mental health, and this is you know it's something that I really care about, um, something that you know we all face, whatever work or, or area of life that we're in. But this is really important to highlight that for me. Um, I'm uh, looking for sponsors still too, uh, so if you check out my mobro.co page uh, down the bottom there in the link. Uh, and uh, also still using, whoops, this side here, the Mustarski as uh, my uh, mascot for for IT pros and uh, mental health. Now, uh, to today's topic um, is is one that uh, I've tried to keep within my life, not just in, in work, but in, in most things. And you know, I'm always encouraged to see this when uh, people are, uh, you know, keeping that thinking. Acknowledge the bad and be thankful for the good. Now, the thing about stuff that happens in our lives, there will always be um, bad things, difficult things, work will be hard, um, someone will dump something on your desk and it'll be the, the fifth thing in the pile that, you know, is urgent. And, um, you know, we just have to acknowledge the bad. Now, acknowledging doesn't mean that you're, um, you know, necessarily going to find that solution quickly or, or even just putting on a fake happy face. Acknowledging actually means that you're accepting the situation that you're in and that you uh, you can do something about it. And the first thing you can do about it, apart from fixing it like we IT pros like to do, um, is that we can, after acknowledging the bad, we can um, focus on something that's good and be thankful for the good. Now, that may also be difficult to see, especially if you're um, you know, piled up, you've got heaps of things on, you're starting to feel stressed out, but there's always one thing that you can be thankful for, even if it's really small. Um, do you enjoy IT still? Uh, do you enjoy the challenge of, of working in um, an industry which is always changing? Are you thankful for your job, generally speaking, is what I'm getting at. Um, we got into IT because we like to figure things out, uh, break things, fix things, work things out, and um, we like to deal with new technology. And, uh, you know, maybe at times it feels like this industry that is always changing uh, is, is actually what makes it difficult for us to keep up with. Uh, that, you know, with these changes, that's part of the stress. But on the flip side of that, of course, we are uh, we enjoy that change. We enjoy a good a good challenge. So we've got to find that balance, don't we? And um, being thankful for that role, that job, and and that variation, man, that's that's uh, definitely something to be thankful for. A little story in my past, I, I had to take a break from IT at, at one point, and um, I took a complete break. I I quit IT and I became a postie and I was delivering mail for about three years. And uh, that, you know, it gave me some time to to stop and really be thankful for the people in my life um, that I, you know, was able to enjoy health and, and get myself uh, back up to a healthy state. And uh, But it also made me thankful too for um, IT as, as work. So in those three years, uh, I was delivering snail mail. I got a full appreciation for uh, for email and for faster modes of communication, uh, and I had plenty of time to think, and um, and that helped me to get into a pattern of being thankful for for the good things in my life, even if they were small. And so this is the trick, really, is acknowledging the bad and acknowledging that yes, I'm in a situation where things might be difficult, but I can always do something. Um, and that first thing that we can do is looking for something that we can be thankful for. If it's, you know, you're thankful for being in IT and, and that work, great. If you're thankful for, uh, you know, a good person to work with in your team. And I was talking with someone yesterday at a, at a customer's place um, and he was really thankful for a, a knowledgeable uh, team member who, uh, you know, really knew his stuff but was was uh, quite encouraging about mentoring and, and showing them how to learn new skills. So things like that, there's always something to be thankful for. And, and this will always help you to begin to have the right mindset for approaching those challenges. 
when we're thinking about things in a negative way, it's very easy to sort of get ourselves further and further down that scale, isn't it? Uh, we dwell on um, things and we think, oh, there's nothing I can do to change this. Uh, my boss doesn't understand me or um, <laughs> we might get grumpy about having all this work. Um, and, uh, you know, basically it's keeping the dollars in, but it's, it's, um, it's still difficult. But if we turn it around and, and we start to, you know, really work on things one thing at a time, we're thankful for something, then we have that right mindset and um, we're able to start to, to solve some of the problems that we're facing. We start to see a solution and a path through that busyness. So much more I could talk about this. Um, one of my favorite topics. And just, I also want to encourage you to think this, this is not some, you know, weak kind of way or, or or um, you know, fake kind of happiness, right? When I say find something to be thankful for, make sure that it's something you're truly thankful for, not not like, oh, great, this is awesome. I'm really loving my job because of all this pressure. There's sarcasm in that, <laughs> of course, but find something that you're truly thankful for, and you'll find that uh, as you, as you as you do be more and more thankful. The answers start to come. You start to think, see things more clearly, and you actually end up being more thankful for other things too: family, friends around you. Um, and you know, if you if you're you know isolated a bit and struggling a bit with that, then then also there's still things to be thankful for too, isn't there? Um, so, those are my tips for today. That's my topic for today. Um, I'll share this out on the other channels, and I'm looking forward to talking to more of you about mental health and IT for Movember. Um, I know I tried to get in touch with Steve Knutson down here in Christchurch, um, so I'm still keen to try and get on um, a call with him and do a bit of an interview like I did with Phil Worrell. But if you if you feel like you want to share a story, uh, DM me over Twitter, uh, we'll arrange a, a, a Microsoft Teams call and um, maybe if it's a recording we'll, we'll push it out that way. Um, if you are looking for help and you are feeling like you're really low and down because Movember is about um, the extreme uh, uh, spectrum of these feelings that we can sometimes feel so deep and dark and, and out of control um, that we, we just want to end it. And really I just want to encourage you that if you do need that kind of help, um, you know, at least tell someone in your life that you need that help and that you do go and see someone who um, can give you that professional help. Uh, there's no shame in asking for help. Okay. So that's uh, Daryl for Movember, um, keeping it going with the Mustaski. And um, if you feel uh, like you want to sponsor me or the team that I'm on, um, then please uh, visit my profile page. Cheers. Mm -hmm.